Hi, this is Patty from Wigs by Patty's Pearls. I'm going to show you how to prepare and shampoo and condition and clean your synthetic wig. This is a synthetic wig that um, I just got in and it looks a little messy and it definitely needs a cleaning. You can count on your synthetic wig probably needing a wash at least every couple of weeks if you wear it every day. If you don't wear it every day, I think you can go for a good three weeks, four weeks, even longer if you wear it, wear it very seldom. But most of my girls are wearing them about every day, and I usually say every three weeks because most of the women I know that are wearing the wigs are getting chemo or meds of some, some kind, and um, that seems to be a time that they're feeling good. So if, if I get a wig in like this and it's a little frizzed and a little messy looking and has a little smell, I know it's time for the bride to go into the water. So. What I first do is try to detangle it just a little bit. I use my big comb for that. And if it is a little more tangled than I'd like it to be, what I will do is spritz it with some detangler, like this. And then I'll take my big comb. And when you're detangling pumpkin, I want you to start at the bottom of the wig. Don't start up here and just dig down, because it'll pull the hairs out. Start at the bottom. And see how I'm gently going through here? I tell you, this detangler is fantastic, sweetie, because it just makes the hair like silk. Now look at that, just that little minute, and that whole back is really detangled and ready to wash. So after I've detangled it a little bit, it doesn't have to be perfect, but I think it's easier to wash it if you get it a little bit prepped and it doesn't go in just like a, a huge mess. Then I do this side. Okay, now I'm going to get my water ready. And I'm going to put some water into my basin. And I like it to be cold water. In fact, I don't know why. I know why no reason. But I will tell you, if I put ice cubes in this water, or if I get this water really, really cold, somehow it works better. I don't understand. Then I'm going to take my shampoo. And this happens to be John Renault for synthetic fibers. It's absolutely wonderful. For a, a longish, medium long wig like that, I'm going to take about maybe a quarter. You wouldn't even need that much. And for a little short wig, maybe half of it. But I put it into the water. I swish it around a little bit. I feel like I'm in science class and all the classes sitting out there. Swish, swish, swish. Now I take my wig, and the secret is I'm going to soak it. I'm not going to wring it, and scrub it, and pull on it. I'm just going to soak it. I wish we had an overhead camera. Oprah Winfrey would probably have one. Anyway, when you go like that already, I can see the water getting dirty. I wish you could see this. And then I soak it, put it under the shampoo, and I walk away maybe for five or ten minutes. Then I'll come back and the water will usually be really dirty. And what I do is I hold it up like this while I'm in the water and I run my hands through it like that. I'm not going to swish and scrub like it's on a scrub board. Just get the shampoo in there and let it do it. Let it, it do the work. The synthetic wig is a flat surface. Remember, it's really a textile. Think of it as silk and cashmere. It's a flat surface. So what we're doing now with this wonderful shampoo made especially for this synthetic fiber, we're letting that surface get cleaned of all of its grime and goop and perfume and dust and all the other stuff and smog. And then we're going to just when I hold it up, I kind of squeeze it. I don't twist it. I don't turn it. Squeeze, gently squeeze. And what that does, it gets out the excess water. And now, what I need to do, see that water's all dirty. I can't believe it. Fantastic. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to rinse it. 
Now, when I'm at home doing this, and I'm not in the salon and the warehouse and blah, 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 I take this to my tub, believe it or not, because my tub has more forceful um, water force, okay? So I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna rinse it really good with the cold water, get all that shampoo and the dirt out, while I'm doing this, by the way, I have on John Renault's heat in 12FS8. Everybody always asks, so I thought I'd tell you. What I did, I curled it. Now, I've done it with cold water. Again, what I'm doing is squeezing, 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 squeezing. Now, the, the flat surface is now clean. I'm going to just get the excess water out like this because after I've cleaned the surface this is the most important step and it's called the conditioner. I've taken everything off of this fiber and it's bare. Now I need to recoat it with the conditioner and the anti-static and the anti-frizz and believe it or not, believe it or not, all of that is in the wonderful, wonderful, wonderful conditioning spray. So now it's still damp, it's still wet. I always hold the wig upside down. Now where you're gonna go with this is into the base. That's where the curl pattern, the um, curl pattern, the, the teasing, all the good stuff is there at the base. I don't want you to put it out here. I want you to put it in the base. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'll probably do maybe little 15 squirts for this long one, maybe nine to 10 for a short one. Now I'm gonna hold it like this and get all that conditioner and get that flat surface coated. Then I hold it from the back. I stand back, I hope I can show you, and I'll shake it. What I'm doing is aerating the wig, separating it, even on short ones, so that that conditioner gets all the way through. Now, I can take it outside and it'll dry in about 15 minutes. The sun won't hurt it. I can put it in a wig dryer. I can put it under a low, low, low heat. Or I can just lay it on a towel and boom. In a few hours, especially by next morning, it's dry. My little Ignite, I did that to yesterday. And I left it kind of laying on a towel. I picked it up this morning so you'll know what it looks like when it's dry. It's still kind of PC and a little messy, but here's the beauty of synthetic pumpkin. Oh no, this isn't Ignite, I think this is Jimmy. Anyway, here's the beauty of it. You brush it, and it goes right back to the style it was. Have a great day, and that's how you care for a synthetic wig.